Let me see. Okay. Okay, cats, are you there, love? Let me know if you can hear me. And see if it's going to echo now. Okay. Hi, baby girl. Can you hear me? And is it echoing? Because Willie seems to think that it might be my phone. She said better. So maybe it was my phone echoing back. Okay. Sounds great. Okay. Okay. Let's see if it's, it, am I, I'm trying to see what camera I'm on. Okay. I can hear you, Mama. Hi, baby. Glitz, glamour, and bold. Hi, Mama, baby, doing. That's what I say to all my babies. Hi, Mama, baby, doing. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you, honey. Okay, guys. So today, better, but it is a bit. Willie, they say it's a bit of an echo. What do you think that is? I'm going to have to do some... Uh, I don't know why it's okay. Yeah. Let me turn the mic on down a little bit. He says. How do? Oh, okay. Wait. Turn it down. My microphone a little. Okay, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna figure this sucker out before. Okay. Okay, I have no idea. Hi, Shawana. Hi, baby. Okay, I hope. Okay, let me talk a little. Ooh, Jesus. Let's just, just pray, pray right now. now. Lord, touch this microphone. <laughs> I don't know what is going on here. I hope it's a little bit better. Cats, is it better? Let me, let me, let me hear you, girl. Let me hear you. Um, I need to shrink this down just a little bit, but I can see more of the thing there. Okay, so today was a good day, but remember I told you guys that I'm trying to do things a little bit different. Um, amen. <laughs> a little bit different than I normally do in my life. So I normally don't go to my sister's job. It was time for me to go get my nails done. And I was going to do that. And I says, you know what? I'm going to drive to my sister's job and I'm going to take her a Starbucks coffee. But the only Starbucks I knew of is the um, Presbyterian Hospital where I used to work. So, and I always valet park because I'm just, I'm just that bougie. So, hi, Missy Boo. Miss Soft Brown Crafts. How, Mama? How are you? So, I always valet park. And it was like, it's $4 to valet park. But I always gave them a 5 $6 tip. So, it was always $10 a day for me. So, it was 50 bucks for the week to park. But you know what? It was worth it for me because the garage was really far and then you had to traverse, you know, travel all the way through the hospital. And yeah, you know, your girl always late anyways. And then at night you go into that garage. It is too dark. I'm like, somebody's going to get my cat. I cannot do this. So I didn't want to do it. So I valet parked. The valet guy and I, over the years that I was there, we got to be really good friends and it was really nice. But anyway, so I went there and they were both there, the valet guys. And I was like, I'm just running in to grab some coffee, you know, and I'm coming right out. So they kept my car right there. I went, I got the coffee for my sister and I went to the, um, 
the little um, gift shop that they have there. They got this little boutique inside the hospital that has the cutest little clothes and stuff like that. So I got her a cute little sweatshirt and it says homebody on it and real comfortable, you know. So I took her gifts over there to her and just spent a couple minutes with her. And it felt really good because that's not my norm. I wouldn't normally drive all the way over there, you know. So anyways, I blessed somebody today and that somebody was my sister. Uh, let's see. Uh, guys, Freddie is in the house. Hey, Freddie. <laughs> hey, baby boy. I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. Uh, how's your skin doing? He came in for um, a Morpheus 8, you guys. He did a Morpheus 8. He did the resurfacing. The Morpheus 8 has several different tips that you can put on it. And so we were just resurfacing his skin. And I mean, every girl that was there was like, oh, my God, he's so good looking. It, it was, yeah, it was bad. He had his eye on one girl. But let me show you guys what I did. I do have something in the diamond art world to show you guys. I'm going to show you that. Um, so you guys know, let me go down. I'm a Louie girl, right? Why isn't this transitioning? Am I on two screens or just one screen? Morpheus 8 is amazing. My face is almost flawless. Your face was already flawless, boy. <laughs> okay. Which screen am I on? Do you see me on the left or the right? So when my husband got my purse, this is my favorite purse. It always has been, you know, I'm a Louie girl, right? So let me, I, I hope I'm on the, I don't think I'm showing the screen down here. Okay. There we go. Okay. Wait. It's only showing one screen too. There we go. Okay. Can you guys see my hand down there? You are on one screen. But there is an echo. Dang on it. Can you see my hands? Y'all just gonna have to bear with me till I get all this done. Can you see my hands or not? Hi, Naomi. This man does not have my sounds hooked up right. Okay, this is the overhead. You can see me now. You should be able to see my hands down here, but I don't think you are seeing my hands. No, just your beautiful face. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> this stuff is tripping me out. You know what? All right, guys, I'll just have to show you up here. It's going to be, I need that man to get his little ugly self back up here for he can help me with this because this is supposed to be, okay, wait a minute. Okay, wait, I almost figured it out. Hold on a minute, y'all. Okay, can you see my hands now? Okay, you should be able to see my hands now. Okay, so what happened was my husband got my purse redone for me, right? All the leather on it, the bottoms, the straps, the everything, and put a new zipper in. Well, when they put the zipper in, can you see this? They was bending this like this to put the zipper in, and they ruined, let me bring it down a little bit. They ruined and cracked the leather there. Okay, y'all can see my purse. Okay, so now my purse is ruined, right? It's got all new hardware and, and all of this stuff, but the purse is ruined. Okay, stay right there. So, if you look at my wallet, my wallet doesn't close. It doesn't close. It's got, um, the zipper is broken. It's busted on it. I don't even close it. It just stays like this, right? I know, I, I do have a lot of cards in there, right? But that's no here, no there. Um... Even if I don't have cards, it, it just busts. If you look right here, you see right here, when they put in these new straps, this right here, come down a little lower and you'll be able to see. Can you see? This is busted on here. 
right here on these guys right here and that's on all four of them is like that well two of them is like that you might be able to see what i'm talking about look at see how it's cracked now okay this is some bull squeaky that's what it is Okay. okay, so, okay, I should be back over on this first camera. Can you see my face? Okay. Now, I had to ask myself, why do you like Louis Vuitton? I mean, seriously, we're going to get into diamond art, but, you know, I got to do some self-talk right here, right here with you guys, with you ladies and gentlemen. And I said, well, why do you like Louis Vuitton? It's a status thing. That's just, there's no way around it. It's a status thing. So you know what I did? You know what I did? Mm -hmm. I'm cheating on Louie. We, we don't have a relationship anymore. Um, I'm going to give my Louie to my daughter. Louie, goodbye. As you can see down here, I bought Coach. And uh, not only did I buy Coach, I'm going to buy everything Coach. Now, Coach has leather. It's reasonably priced. So, show y'all what I bought. This one is called, what is it called? She told me. Oh, Chase. That's what it's called. This bag is so super cute. And if you guys don't know, see this tag that I had made? This is my other name, Coco Diva. Okay. So look at this purse. Look how cute. Isn't that cute? It's got the little clasp right here where your phone can go in there. You don't even have to open it up. And then it's got, it's got this strap right here, which, which is cool. And it's pretty big inside. It's a cross body and it's an everyday body because that's what I'm wearing it for. Okay. Oh, Jesus. So, come on, close. I got that stuff in there. Anyways. Okay. So I got that. But I got my father bought me my first coach purse. F T Fair, you're reading. Am I saying that right? Your daddy bought you your first coach. That is so cute and sentimental. I love that. What a memory, right? So I bought this, um, this chain strap, right? And it looks so cute. And they're not very expensive. These were uh, $35 for these little chain strap. Do you know how much something like this would have been at the Louis store? And I did go to the Louis store because the Louis store is right down the street from this store, literally on the same strip, like four stores down. Okay. So yeah, I accidentally walked into the coach store because Sabrina does Michael Kors and I was going to go to buy her a piece for her collection. And I walked into the store and the lady was like, ma'am, we don't have any of the warm vanilla. I don't know what you're talking about. And da, 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 da. I was like, lady. And, and I was like, oh, my bad. This is coach. I'm supposed to be at the Michael store. <laughs> Anyways, so I got this. So now I can do this or this. So if you want to take it up a notch, you can do this one or this one, right? Okay, let's keep moving. What else did she buy at the coach store? Oh, let me tell you guys the price. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you can always find your tags and your tickets and stuff in your little pockets, just so you know. Um, this one was... Oh, gosh. Well, I don't know. It is not in there right now. 
Oh, you know what? I got this right here. Okay, so this was $2.95 for this bag right here. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Because when I went to the Louis store and I looked at the purse that was slightly similar to this, um, a little bit bigger, um, vinyl, not leather, it was uh, 27 I think it was, 2700 295 Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what possessed me to ever even go into Louis. You're buying vinyl. I still love Louis, but I, I, I can't have that relationship. Oh, no. Are you feeling better, right? Quick enough. Miss Dawn, I'm in rehab. I hurt my left knee. A chip bone. Oh my gosh, you poor thing. Tell Auntie Shawnee I'm on my life. Okay, so then I got this right here, this wallet. And I got the big wallet because I got a lot of cards. And, and I'm not talking about credit cards. I have your health spending card. I have my um, health benefits card, you know, just all your stuff. No, 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 no. It echoes, baby. It echoes. Take it out. You just take it out in my room. Thank you, baby. And so I got this wallet right here. And it's got this little uh, wristlet. So you can just use it as a wristlet. You know, so that was cool. Really big. I like that. And then, what else did I get? And I this is called... Um, what do they call it? The pebbled leather? My father taught me the meaning of being a princess as a young black woman. Father who valued me and allowed me to cherish is forever his legacy. Oh, oh that is so sweet. I know that's right, baby girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my dad used to tell me the same thing. He's, you're so pretty, you're so good. Pinching my cheeks. Maybe that's why I'm such a confident person. I love me. Do you love yourself, girl? Sparkles the Lady is here. Hello. Hello, Sparkles the Lady. And then I got this one too. Yeah. I sent it on the Cash App. Sorry, y'all. Uh, so I got this little makeup bag to go with. Oh, I didn't tell you guys how much this wallet was. So I like to get everything that goes um, with my stuff. Y'all know that, right? But I wanted to pace myself in the store. Like I wanted to get every single thing that went with this. But I was like, what if you start to hate it? You need to make sure. Hi, Nancy Boo. Hi, Nancy. So I was like, okay, just get a, a few things and be done with it. So this wallet was $225 for the wallet. Um, I told you it was $35 for this chain right here. And this guy right here was $75 for the makeup bag. So what did I spend? All that being said, what did I spend? Look, y'all got to see this girl face. Y'all got to see this girl face for this. I'll try not to echo it. $681. Honey, when I say that, when the lady told me what my bill was, wait, am I here? No. When the lady told me what my bill was, I said, what? It's, it's going to be $681. I was, I was shocked. I seriously, I don't know what I was thinking. And I guess because, again, I'm a Louis girl, right? Less than 2500 right? And so my girlfriend, being the friend that she is, she was like, here, put some of it on this. Put a couple hundred on this one, Lisa, on her credit card. And I was like, no, Angela. She was like, 
Lisa, Lisa, I was going to get you the other stuff because I, I was looking at a different purse, you know, the um, signature coach purse, you know, the brown one, you know, and um, she would say, I was just going to buy it for you, you know, and I'm like, no, because anyways, so she paid for 200 of it. So I only had to pay for $481 of it. I was like, now, mind you. One of my clients bought me um, a Bible bag, a black coach Bible bag and a wallet. I probably shouldn't even have bought the wallet because I've got this same wallet or one similar to this, but it's not here nor there, whatever. It was only $225. And I shouldn't say only because, hey, that could be a lot to some people, but I'm saying only because, honey, if this was a Louis wallet right here, girl, you better get up on out of here. You would have been paying some ducats for it. So anyways, this is my coach experience. This is where I'm headed now. Just classy, black, simple. Um, and um, this is the way I will be traveling from now on. But, oh, let me tell you. So I was saying, why do I need to have name brand? You know, why do you have to have a name brand? Because to me, Coach is just, it's its its a good price for the product, right? You don't. You don't have to have name brand. You can just have any, any style, any designer or non-designer you like. Some people like a whole bunch of different purses, a whole bunch of different colors to go with each and every outfit. I just got the Coach Signature Girl. <laughs> go, Nancy. You go, Nancy. Um, so, and I love that coach signature and I probably will move into that, but I just wanted to get the classic black right now, you know, but, um, I'm feeling this y'all. I'm feeling this here. So yeah. Okay. Let's put all of this. Now, the problem I'm going to have is I'm used to carrying a lot of crap in my purse. I, I'm just, I just am, but, um, this is all I'm going to be able to fit up in there. My makeup, because you know the girl's got to have her makeup, and my uh, thing. But when I wear this, this is going to be my everyday bag. I'm going to try to keep it small, try to keep it simple. We've got to try to get the hell up out of here. Maybe maybe I'll be on time because I don't have to lug that big bag. Y'all know I'm lying. Your nose eyes lie. But, um, okay. Anyways, here we go. Here we go. So this is how I'm rolling now. All right. So we talked enough about purses and my little shopping ordeal today. Oh, you know what I say? I don't like Michael Kors. I'm not a big Michael Kors, but I got on my Michael Kors shoes today. Let me show y'all them. Aren't those cute? I got the white ones too. My daughter, she always keep me styling. <laughs> He said, this girl is a fool. She put her foot on the table in the camera. Yes, she is. Okay. I got to go. Got to run some errands. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, baby boy. Okay. Let's get to it. Let's get to the diamond painting world. Where is my diamond painting? I got to show you guys what I got. Freddie, you should have stuck around for a minute. Okay. Now, I told you people that I had bought, let me see. I had bought, um, come down, come down. Shine from, oh, it's not even showing. That looks horrific. From um, Craftably, right? There. And I hope I'm not echoing. Probably am. I got the coach shoes that match my purse. I know that. I'm going to coach myself out. We're going to have to go on vacation together. We coach girls now. <laughs> We've moved on. Louis is not the man. He is not the man. Um, and mind you, to get that purse for the skin and the strap and all that stuff to be put back on that purse was 780 I think it was. And 
No London is it? No, 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 oh, oh, it's almost complete. She's asking about my London piece. It is almost complete. Girl, I fell asleep with my face in there listening to you the other day. I was like, oh, Jesus, my phone said, burr, 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 burr. and then I just stayed up for a little while longer, and I fell asleep. My head was hitting the thing. I was like, okay, girl, you got to go to bed. Cats, we was talking till three in the morning. Three in the morning, girl. You know, we can go hard. So, um, back to this one right here. Dude, I tell you what, I called them today and it's Andrew, I think his name is Andrew, at Craftably. I was like, I owe you guys money. I, I need to give you guys your money. And he was like, huh? And I was like, and I told him what had happened, that the girl really couldn't talk, that Freddie actually went there to buy my canvases for me, and for me and for Pam. And he was like, um, he was helpful. So he just, so he just said, well, I don't see him in here, but I, he just rung him up. Which ones did you get? And he just took my word for it and he took my money and that was the end of it. So let me show you guys this. So this is the shine. You can't see it. I'm not even going to put that too over there. Go down. I think this camera is better than this camera. Because I can't see a dang on thing on this camera. I'm going to have him take this camera off and put my regular camera back up there. Then we won't get that, that echoing. At least I hope not. Okay. I'm going to have to do a test. Like have him fix it and test it. Shanta. Hi, Shanta. Baby. I sound like I'm from New Orleans because I'm always, hi, baby. <laughs> they always do that talk. Okay, let me move this crap over here. Now, I don't know what possessed me to get this diamond painting, but it kind of like called out to me because I was like, what do I want to get? What do I want to get? And it was like, click, click. Huh? Oh, I really like that. So, yeah, I thought I would be done with London had I have not fallen asleep. And then yesterday was my husband and I was going to have a talk, a life talk. And if you don't know what a life talk is, that's when you and your mate get together and you decide whether or not you're going to stay together for another year because you're only committed to the marriage for a year. And of course, we're 31 years in now. So it's like, uh, we're like, I'll do it for another year. Yeah, I'll do it for another year. Then you don't feel like you're tied into something. I know it's kind of crazy, but one of our um, marriage therapists kind of suggested we do it. So yesterday was a day that we got together and we sat and we were talking about him wanting to go in one direction in life and me wanting to go in another direction in life. He wants to move to Ecuador. I'm like, the hell with Ecuador. I never been there. never want to go. I mean, I can go, but I don't need to go. And so we see that we are actually going in two different directions. And Willie is four years older than me, so he's going to retire before I retire. He's trying to get me to retire and, and whatever. So long story short, we sat down to have the talk. And I came to the conclusion after many, many hours of talking that, why are we even having this discussion? Because... In six years, when he, excuse me, seven years, when he retires, or six years actually, yeah, wait, he's 55 right now. He's about to be 56. So, um, what is that? Yeah, six years when he retires. Who knows? In six years, you haven't gotten your craftably. I'm going to have to give them a call, baby. We got to call them to see why you haven't gotten your craftably. Not at all, crazy girl. Keep your girl power in hand. <laughs> right? So I was just like, um, in six years, I might be tired of working. But as it is right now, I'm not tired. I don't want to do what he wants me to do. I want to do what I want to do. 52 years I am. I've raised kids. I've had two husbands. You know, I've bought, sold, we've done things together for properties and stuff like that. But the majority of my life has been him directing me in what he wants more so than what I want. And I'm a, I'm a grown ASS woman now. So I'm like, no, you know, 
No, that's just the bottom line. I know a lot of y'all, you know, you've got Proverbs 31 women, y'all probably like. Let, let, let me come up here if I can talk to y'all before I even show y'all this right quick. I might be able to echo a little bit, but y'all, y'all got to see my face because I'm serious about this thing. When you've been a mother and a wife, sometimes you get tired. You get tired of serving other people, as bad as that might sound to some of you. You do. You feel like you've lost yourself. Well, you know what? At 52, I'm sorry. My kids are all grown, and my husband is grown too. His mama raised him. No. And no. It's about Lisa now. That's all I'm saying. The rest, y'all can make up in your head as to what I mean and what I say without me saying it. Mm -mm. I've got to be selfish now. Now, let's get back to the fun. You said, Lisa, we ain't here for your life lessons. Yes, she is. No confirmation email that I purchased it. Nothing. I'm pretty dang sure I bought it on the pre-order back in December. Oh, hell no. I'll call them, baby. Well, we got to call them tomorrow. We got, we got some calling to do. Anyways, this one has 54 um, drills. And it has three ABs. And it looks like it's 01, 08, and 44. And that's not the same as Diamond Art Club. We are there. <laughs> you are so cute. Listen to my husband down there snoring. Oh, y'all probably can't hear him. He is loud. I told y'all, I love his snoring, though. Except if I wake up in the middle of the night, then I'm like, would you shut the hell up? But other than that, it puts me to sleep. <laughs> When I'm ready to go to bed, first thing. Okay, so you guys know Craftably is an awesome company. I shouldn't say that because I haven't done not one of their diamond art pieces yet. I'm going to be moving into that right after I finish London and then finish um, my bestie. <laughs> I think I'm going to start working on two at a time because that's basically what it is. So we've got our wax, our pink wax. They do give you some washi. Oh, now Sabrina's trying to call me back. Miss Rochelle, hi. How are you, Mama? And then they give you their little kits. Oh, Jesus, sorry about that. Then they give you these little kits. Of course, y'all know that. And then their drills. Oh, this is what shine looks like. Can y'all see this? Come down out of the glare of the light. This is what shine looks like. Mm, mm, mm. That is so cute. Um, again, I don't know why I'm drawn to this, but I really am. I need to go get my nails done. Um, if you use shop app, uh, your order should be there. Judge Jackson got three GOP votes. <laughs> Here's Cross, she says. Did you finish your ticket to ride? I'm still working on mine. Rochelle, I am almost done. I guess that don't mean a dang on thing. No, I have not finished my ticket to ride. If I had to be 100% honest, no. I probably have, you know, all that confetti in the tree and stuff like that. I probably have a good week and I would be done with it. So I need to just commit to it. Sabrina's going to come in tomorrow. You guys know I had a lot of stuff going on for the last two weeks. So Sabrina's coming in tomorrow, uh, but she's not staying. She's only coming in for a day. So she's getting her um, service, um, her treatment, and then she's leaving. So um, I should, I thought she was going to come and stay for a minute, but she's not. So uh, I should have the time to finish that up. But anyways, Craftably comes already in these little pre-packages. Sorry about the noise, y'all. No, I'm not. Let me just stop lying. I think that's just something we have to say, right? Okay, so they, they're already numbered like this. So, yeah, that's super cool. 
So that's how the, um, what is it? What is the other company? Oh, Sherry Baldy that I'm working on, the besties. I have coffee with my bestie. So yeah, uh, their drills look really good. Even if I had to just look at them really quickly, the drills look really good. But I don't go through each and every package. That's just not my gig. I don't like to do that. So Lisa, <laughs> she said, come on now, girl. Okay, I'm going to finish it. I, I, I with you, Rochelle. I got you. I got you. Um, how much more do you have to do? I, I'm thinking that I have a good solid week, one solid week, and I should be done. So let's look at this canvas, shall we, people? Mm. Mm. I got to moan out loud. Mm. Oh, my good Lord. Their symbols. Let me show you this. Can you see that? Look how clear their symbols are. Oh, come on, camera. Look at that. They're very clear. Like, I don't even need my light board to see this. I'm not even playing with you. It's it's a very clear symbols. Um, now, I will say this key is a little hard to, to read. A little harder to read, I should say. Um, but... Yeah, okay, let's go through this. Please post your finishes, lady. Okay, we will. Yes, mama. Basketball is almost over. NC versus. Rachel, are you watching sports? Gosh, this is so beautiful. You guys, you're not getting the gist of it. You're not. And then this is her um, decollete. Come down out of the shine. I don't know. I can't get the shine off. Look at how rich those colors are. I can just imagine how beautiful this is going to be. Yeah. Okay, let's put this away. Oh, actually they gave me, oh, I didn't even notice this. They gave me two washi tapes and two waxes. Ooh. My husband is bringing down the house with his snoring. He's on the couch like a fat cat. Probably got his feet up with those recliners. Okay, so look, people. Um, I don't like leather furniture. I never liked leather furniture. It's it's just not my thing. I, I, I feel like it's cold when you sit on the couch, right? Come up here. Let me talk to you. So... Oh, that's not me. So, um, I gave in and I bought leather couches for the front room. Well, on the leather couches, they have those recliners. There's four of them, right? When my family was here, everybody would flock to those recliners, put their feet up, and they would just be out. That, that leather is real soft, you know? So, every time you get on that couch, you're going to go to sleep. So... <laughs> My husband is down there, crashed out, just snoring away. So that's the power of those couches. Yeah. Now, okay. So let me tell you something else. So I went to lunch with my girlfriend. So I dropped that coffee off to my sister and I went to lunch with my girlfriend. And afterwards, we went shopping and then we went back to my shop. I did a Morpheus um, 8 on her stomach, okay? There's a body hand piece, and then there's a face hand piece. So we did her body and everything like that. Well, she was telling me that her mom can be really mean, and she has kept all the recordings that her mom has sent her. 
all these years on her phone. And she played one, well, actually she played two or three of the recordings for me. My eyes, and y'all know I'm not a very emotional person. My eyes teared up and I thought to myself, that is horrible. The things that her mom was saying to her was absolutely horrendous. And I just stared at her and she was crying and she's like, like, what kind of mom does this? You know, and she's an excellent daughter. Like she gives them tons of money, takes care of them, you know, always has. And I thought about my parenting, you know, and there's been times where you just want to bop your kid or go upside their head or, you know, you say something that's off-putting to them, you know, like, just get out of my face. Just, just go, you know, and the kids are like, mom's going to bop me. I better get out of here. You know, we've all done that. But this was abuse. You know, this was past being mad or disgusted with a behavior or something your child has done. Um, it was hateful and, and I felt sorry for her. So as mothers or wives or sisters or whatever, be careful what you say to people, you know, because we have the ability to really hurt people with our mouths. Um, yeah, that just, it hurt me to know that her mother does that to her. You know, so with all that being said, I better shut my little ugly mouth and let us go over to Principal Painter's house. I'm so goofy. Um, oh, no, that's... Oh. Okay, it's not going to echo for whatever reason when I go to this one. Lisa, my husband is an ex-pro player. My children both play in college. We are a basketball family. Oh, <laughs> I see, I see. Okay. Does Cameron still think he's the boss? <laughs> Did you set him straight? Um, he, you know, everybody thinks they're the boss, Miss Glitz, Glamour, and Bold, but um, no, nobody is the real boss except me. <laughs> you got to let people think they're the boss. So, um, okay. So I, I shouldn't be echoing right now. You you probably just see my hands here. Uh, you see a thing people hurt. You think people? Oh, hurt, oh hurt people. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, hurt people, hurt people. Right. Um, wish it wasn't so. You have eleven minutes. Yeah. So like I was saying, um, I'll just. I'll just say it again. Just be careful what you say to people because you can really hurt people with your words. And that's a that's a dang on shame um, to do that. So I just say, oh, I'll have to pray for your mom because personally, I like her mom. I like her dad. Her dad is cool people for sure. So, um, yeah, we just need to learn how to be better to the people that we're closest to because sometimes we can abuse that privilege that right that um that relationship anyways let's go over to principal painter's house and see what she's going what she's doing over there um goodbye rochelle goodbye mrs katz goodbye nancy um miss soft brown crafts goodbye naomi my love goodbye um missy poo I just want to say goodbye to all of you guys and Nancy. Um, and I thank you for coming. Wendy, Wendy, when did you sneak in there? Miss Wendy. Hi, baby girl. Um, oh, duh. It's what the F are you reading? I was like, W T far. You're reading. She's probably like, okay, idiot. <laughs> I, what the F are you reading? I got you, girl. I got you. That is her, that is her, her name. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Shawana, Dawn, Sparkles, the lady. Thank you guys for all coming and joining me today. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, Glitz, Glamour, and Bold, not leaving me out in the cold. I've got my people. Um, 
I think I said bye to you, Don. I hope I did. Um, thank you guys for coming and being with me. Let's go. Deuces.